morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey, you guys, it is early this morning and we have a lot to do today. So we are gonna get out in about pretty early. Um, it's already, I wanna, it's, yeah, it's 8.30 in the morning. Yep, yeah, we're gonna remind everybody that it is a Wednesday. It is chicken, eggs, fish, at veggies day, you can have high protein powder such as keto chow, and you can lift some weights. Okay. We have some family decisions to make. We are doing, we have several meetings today, and we are going to Skype in family members, and I'll explain everything when we get done with the day and let you guys know where we are with all of that. But right now, I want to go over my challenge for May. Anyway, you guys, everything that you eat the day before, sometimes two, day, two days prior, can have a direct effect on your weight loss. Oh, lack of sleep. Yeah, yeah that's me. Stress. Yeah, yeah. Medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inflammation. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All of these things can have a direct effect. Harry just had, for all of you who are brand new, my husband Harry, who's the cameraman, just had his left hip replaced. So now he's a bionic man. Yeah, yes, me. he is. I can't wait to see him run, man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, he is um, being able to wean himself off of the walker onto a cane, at least around the house. And that is good news. He's humming right along. Yes, he is. Anyway, you guys, uh, I want to share everything that we had to eat yesterday. It was perfectly keto. Get okay, up here. Tell me, tell me where we need to be. Right there. We ended up having six eggs total. After we ate, we had about an hour later, we had three more eggs each. I had a tablespoon of bacon bits and made us scrambled eggs. Ten ounce it's called a cross rib steak and they're very very good if you ever come across cross rib steak in your store or supermarket try it because it's really really good super tender it was really delicious I cooked the eggs in a teaspoon of tallow each and we had unflavored collagen yesterday we had a total of three carbs Fat was 68 grams and protein was 99 grams. We had um, 1,050 calories. We had a lower calorie day, but we were very, very busy. We have been dealing well, with say. some major life-changing issues within the family. And um, hopefully today we'll have definitive answers and we can come back and just share that information. But you guys, um, we're still, uh, it's a work in progress. So I'll share everything, um, hopefully later today, if not tomorrow. But how did we do weight-wise? How did we do? Now, we both went down, but remember we went up. We've gained weight. So I went down two tenths of a pound. Mm -hmm. Harry went down four tenths of a pound. Mm -hmm. We still have to get back down to our all-time new lows. Yep. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So, um, I somebody asked me, Harry, if they could have a copy of this. Can you put this blank sheet on our Loving It on Keto website so they can print this out and just track their own weight this way? I guess so. Okay. I put our weight down. So this is our beginning weight, and then I'm tracking it. At the end of the week, I'm going to go what we've uh, lost for the whole week. And this is gonna be filled in completely. For those of you who are brand new, we used to have a big board and we would track everything for the entire yeah, we did that month. For two years we did on that. the big board. So we've gotten uh -huh. rid of that and I don't want to bring it back because I love my counter space. Yes, I do. But I'll track well, it. We don't this need way. it anymore. No, we don't. No, we don't. We pretty much know what's going on. So out and about, and I don't know if we are gonna be able to do um lunch or dinner yeah, this might be a short here day. or out or what we're doing but you guys this is important things we are doing we're skyping in my sisters and we're doing um some heavy duty meetings today and i'll explain all those things as we get definitive answers on that hope everybody's doing well hope everybody's having a great day it's supposed to be in the 90s today so i've got my sandals on i've got capris on 
I am dressed for cool weather. Yes, I am. But we need to get out the door because we are taking an early start today. Yes, we are. We'll see everybody in the next segment. Hey everybody, it is 1.30. We are home for a quick lunch. I took out this uh, ground turkey. Took out the ground turkey and I am gonna make stuffed turkey balls. Super plain, super simple stuffed turkey balls. Yes, indeed. So I am gonna make these real quick and then we're gonna, we gotta head out the door and we gotta go see mom this afternoon. So, oops. No, honey, that is not. She heard the word food. <laughs> Sally's so cute. In the turkey, uh, I'm going to put in one egg, a binder. I'll bind it. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. This is super finely ground salt. You know what? Ooh, I didn't think about this. Let me excuse your feet, Harry, honey. I have uh, tallow in my little fry pan that is melting, but I am going to use. That's a great idea. Mm -mm -mm. I am going to put in cherry smoked flavoring. Redmond Real Salt, the smoked uh, cherry blend, cherry wood blend. I'm just going to put some in because that's going to make it taste amazing. Yes, it will. Oh, yeah, yes, it will. Now, I am using Italian seasoning. I'm going to put in a teaspoon. I'm going to use a teaspoon of granulated onion. Teaspoon of garlic. Yes, indeed. Love me some garlic. Yes, I do. Don't you, Harry? Oh, yeah. I got my garlic. Everything tastes better with garlic. Yes, it does. Now, I'm going to put in that. about a quarter of a cup of pork rind panko. Just take pork rind, your favorite pork rind brand, grind it up in your food processor or in your... Oops. Oops. A little bit more than a quarter of a cup. Probably more like a third of a cup. Sorry folks, it just fell in. And I don't want to take it out of raw turkey. Once it's in with the raw turkey, it stays with the raw turkey. Anyway, let me put some um, gloves on real quick so I can mush it all up. You want to blend it really, really good. How's everybody doing on my new May challenge? We're enjoying it, aren't we, Harry? Yeah, don't everybody speak at once. Yeah, don't everybody. Can't hear you. Anyway, I am sitting here and um, just taking this turkey and mixing it up. And uh, the panko, your pork rinds, depending on how salty they are, you guys, what kind you use, you want to be careful with adding more salt because ours tend to be pretty salty, huh, Harry? Yep, yep, yep. Pretty well, that's salty. Why I, like them, huh? I like salt. Oh, Harry, I'm going to need your help. Bummer. Well, maybe I can do it. I didn't even think about it. You were right. Harry goes, are you going to are you going to cut up the cheese? Mm -hmm. First. Yep, that's what I said. He said it. He did. Yep. And I said, oh no, I don't need to. And now I'm thinking, now I know why. Because I'm stuffing, I'm stuffing the meatballs with cheese. Yes, I am. Excuse me, Sally. So, I have got baby bells right here that I got at Costco. I'm going to cut these into quarters. Yeah, we'll be back because this is going to take her forever. Well, let me do a few to share with everybody. You think it's going to take me forever, but I'm Speedy Gonzalez. Yes, I am. 
I'm going to stuff the meatballs with a quarter of a baby bell. So each baby bell is going to do four little meatballs. Because we're just eating these meatballs plain. Mm -hmm. We're going to be delicious. Yeah. And let me see if I, let me do two meatballs. Let me do two. You got a little rip cord on there, right there, Speedy. Yes. Where? Come on, Speedy. Where would the rip cord be, Harry? Right back there. Yeah, that ain't happening. Well, it's kind of hard to do with gloves. Yes, it is. I'm glad you acknowledged that, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, I'd have been done by now. Sure. And they would have been in my mouth. Sure. Because you're such a good, you're such a good cook, Harry. You know, man. You know, man, that's, you that's know why it, I have man. you do it because I don't want to make you look bad. I think I'll do one more because I want to do small. Yeah, good thing you're fast. Oh, he's being sassy, you guys. Harry's being mean to me. Yes, he is. Uh -huh. He's being sassy. He's being sassy. I'm so excited, Harry, that you're on a cane now. Yeah, yeah. So he said to use the walker, though, so people don't jostle or bump you well, out I'll, on the street. I, when we go out, I use the... Yeah, and I can see that. Use the, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The walker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. God, you're going to wake me up when you're done with Two this? baby bells will give us 12 little meatballs. Let's see how we do. I'm going to put all this away. I'm going to take a little bit of meat. I'm going to put a baby bell in the middle. Smash it down. And roll the ball up. And tomorrow. What? We'll have them. Oh, he's being sassy. He's being mean. He's being mean. Put these cheese balls. Make sure you get it in the middle, you guys. Make sure you seal the edges because we're going to fry them in that tallow in our little meat pan. And the nice thing about these is once you do them, you can take them and you can freeze them. You can use these for all kinds of things. You can make sauce out of them. You can make a meatball sandwich out of them. These are turkey, so they're lean. They're part of the chicken, eggs, and fish day for us because they're a fowl. You know, remember I said fowl, chicken as in fowl, all fowl. Now, is there all some, eggs. what if I can't have cheese? Well, then you just don't stuff them with cheese. These are delicious without the cheese in them. So you can make them faster. Yes, you could. But don't you want cheese in yours? Yeah. I want to eat. Boy, I tell you, he wants. And then he picks on me and he expects me to cook for him. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oops, that's a big one. Let's take some of that away. How about if any cheese is left, you can have a piece of cheese. All right. That'll satiate your appetite. Yeah. Okay, so how many did I put in? Four. I only needed three. Oh, so you cut up four? Yes, I cut up four. This little meatball looks sad. I'll make it bigger. I'll make that one for Sally. It's a Sally meatball. A baby meatball? Yeah, it's a Sally meatball. What's Sal? Yeah, Sally meatball. She just looks at me like, yeah, it's mine. You think so? You got a meatball? Hmm? Yeah. There's four little pieces. That's Mine. a baby bell. You can have those, but I'm putting them right there. Right. Okay, guys. Got two, four, six, eight meatballs. Let's see. Right there. What are you going to do with them meatballs? You well, I've got tallow. I've got some tallow in here. What's tallow? Tallow is beef, rendered beef fat. Mm. And I'm going to put my meatballs in. And I'm going to brown them on all the sides. Got enough fire? I just returned it up. Thank you. 
there they are. And I've got even bought a little lid for them. I think I did. Well, you guys, I'll use this lid. Just keep dirtying them up. Yeah. I will. Yeah. Just keep dirtying up the lids. Well, I don't have a sous chef right now. He's in. He's injured. I'm going to go ahead and wash these dishes up, and we'll come back when these are turkey meatballs. Yes, indeed. Tight in there, aren't they? Yeah. They swelled up. They did. They swelled up. Tallow is wonderful for frying things like meatballs because you can get your temperature beautiful and it just gives such a delicious taste to the meat. There you go. We're going to let it sit on that side, you guys. Take a peek. And we'll come back when it's turkey meatballs. Yes, indeed. I'm getting them all out. I really do. They smell good, too. Don't, don't they? they? Really smell delicious. These would be great in a meatball sandwich. Oh yeah. These would be great in uh, with a marinara sauce, you guys. No, that would be great too. But I be good am, spaghetti. Yes, it would. I am putting just some cherry, real salt on them. And we are having turkey stuffed meatballs stuffed with baby bell cheese. Look at that, you guys. These look really good. So let me get this off the burner. Okay, taste test, taste test. Mm -hmm. Look, cutting in. Look at the cheese in there. Oh yeah, oh, look yeah, at that. Out, man. Look at the cheese. Ooh yeah. They're hot. Oh yeah, I bet. You could put a little pesto sauce, mm -hmm. a little Alfredo sauce. You could put a little uh, sweet, sweet and tangy mustard sauce. Mm. Is it good? Oh, yeah. Does it work? Mm. Man, these need nothing. Mm. Really? Mm. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> With the cheese, Harry. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Ready? Yeah. Go. Oh. Aren't those good? Those are really good. Those are monster good. These need nothing. No, really, they don't. Maybe a pickle on the side. These are fabulous. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, these are what we're having for breakfast for lunch. Yes, indeed. Then we have to get out the door because we have another meeting. So anyway, you guys, got to eat now. Hey everybody, we are at lunch and we are at the Neighborly. I have been doing meetings all day and I'll explain what those meetings are about. But I am having swordfish and asparagus and Harry is having half of a chicken a la carte. And we've got uh, Diet Coke and I've got Club Soda. So you guys, this is what we're having today on the chicken, eggs and fish and veggies day of the challenge. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna eat my swordfish. Yes, indeed. And Harry's gonna eat his chicken. Hey everybody, we are finally back. It is 918. 
Let me explain a little bit about what has happened. My mom fell at the end of March and she uh, fractured her pelvis. She's 90 years old and she is not recuperating as fast as we had anticipated. And as older people age, they don't. Um, they, little things can change very quickly with the elderly. And so we are, we're looking for a home for mom. Um, she is at the point in her life and with this last fall, she is going to need assisted living. So we went to a place today that my mom actually has done a tour with. Someone, one of, one of the ladies at church lives there and invited her to the open house. And before my sister came, before my mom fell, Harry and I were gonna go take a tour with her because mom wanted to share with us this place. So we went there today. We had a Skype call with my sister, my daughter, Harry and I went there. We love it. It's a great God, place. It's a great place. It's like she, a she, yeah. It's just like a resort. Yeah, it's I mean, a it's, resort. it truly is. They have a putting green, and the people were out putting, golfing next to the pool as we were, you know, touring everything. Several restaurants on campus. Um, it's a thirty-acre campus. Anyway, we reserved a room, and then we went to talk to my mom about it um, later today after we got home we um, talked about logistics talked about where she was um, the two facilities are going to need to talk to one another um, they're going to order a bed for her because she's going to need a medical bed she's going to have a nice apartment it's going to be a nice uh, 350 square foot um, apartment it's going to have a kitchen at, and it's going to have a microwave uh, um, a uh, refrigerator a great view of the garden pool area um, she gets to bring her own furniture pieces in they will decorate it and put everything up before she uh, gets brought in so we have logistics to deal with we have all of the um, moving and and making sure she's good with rehabilitation that's another nice thing the facility has a rehabilitation facility on campus so if mom were to hurt herself or fall or go backwards as far as her, her um, physical, uh, what she's doing now capabilities, um, she would go into that and then they would help her and they would keep her room and all of those good things. So anyway, it's all logistics I'm dealing with, appointments, trying to coordinate everything. Um, we are going to be selling her house. So the good news is, is the market is huge right now. Yeah. People want to buy these houses. Um, so I've been talking with realtors, setting up appointments for people to come in and look at it. I've been dealing with all these things. We went and talked to mom today. We had the head of uh, physical therapy. We had the head of care services in there. My sister Skyped in to discuss all of those things with my mother. We put a deposit down so her room is secure. Um, she actually wanted to crochet today, so I took her crocheting to her, picked out some colors, and got that to her today. And they are going to send a nurse, an RN, from the Beatitudes where she's going to be living. The nurse has to go and do an assessment at Sante, where my mother is now, to assess her to see what in assistant living, what type of care she will need when she moves in and then we will go from there now my mom's dog Ida my sister Lori and husband Ron if you guys have seen any of our vacation films in Idaho it was back in June of uh, 2021 go look at it my sister and brother-in-law own an 80 acre horse ranch in Idaho and we're gonna meet them halfway uh, probably more not halfway because Kingman Arizona he has friends there with Ida and they're gonna take Ida to their horse ranch with them and I think she will enjoy oh, it and be very very happy it. the Beatitudes where my mom's gonna live is very pet friendly there are cats dogs birds um, and some reptiles yep. however my mother will not be able to ambulate and walk Ida and take care of the care that you need to do for your own animal there you need to be able to walk them you know pick up after them and all of those things so um, we felt it best as a family that Lori would take Ida because she didn't work out with Felicia's very elderly dogs so we've been dealing logistics 
it I can't believe the logistics and I have more to come because I will be uh, coordinating getting my mom moved I will be coordinating getting the pieces of furniture that she wants to have in her house at her new house at the Beatitudes moved I will be coordinating um, the selling of the house and all of those things so I am very tired tonight and this has been a very emotional uh, week for me it really has been when you have life changes and when the people that you love when you need to make this next step that we have it's very difficult it's the best for my mom and she's going to really enjoy it they've got a choir that she can join this is a campus that will take her to um, if you're Catholic they take you to the Catholic service if you're Lutheran they take you to the Lutheran service if you are Jewish they take you to the synagogue they have a free transportation within a certain radius that they can take you on. If you want to order groceries, they will pick those up for free once a week. You place your order ahead of time. There's all kinds of things. Yes, this is a, a huge facility. It's a ritzy place. It yeah, is. Well, cool. you've got senior yeah. living where you can live independently in your own little condo, casita, you know, all the way to a hospice. So that's the nice thing about this campus. So that's where we have been and that's where my mind has been and this is what I have been doing. So anyway, I just wanted to share with everybody because you all, if all of our longtime viewers know my mom and I will actually be bringing my mom in her new home so you guys can see where she's at. She is gonna start crocheting again finally if she feels like it and we'll be going from there. So I'll bring you guys along best I can with it. But if I seem a little stressed, if I seem a little tired, it's because I have a lot going on. Plus, I've got my new classes starting very soon. Anyway, you guys, if you like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. There she is, there's that baby. Yeah, you ready? Oh, what she got? Oh, she got some turkey. Yeah, man.